How do I, darling? Come in, folks. Successful entrepreneur Terry Tibbs is a millionaire. Oh, look at that. Where's it gone? Oh. Sorry about that. Sorry. For the past 25 years, he's been building a fortune in the second-hand car business. Family car. Talk to me. Luxury car. Talk to me. He's made an extraordinary decision. You just wanted to go on a nice walk, didn't you? For 10 days, he's going to leave his work and family life behind. What are you doing? Don't talk that way about you. Don't talk that And live undercover in one of Britain's most deprived areas. Oh, fucking hell. He's going to become part of the community in Swansea, Wales. Let's see what you guys have got in store for me, huh? Oh, our sweet kitchen. Whilst he's in Swansea, Terry will be living on the equivalent of state benefits. Take a millionaire, put him in his shithole, feed him beans, right? Cut out a bitch where he's farting like a bastard because you fed him beans. No one he meets will know that Terry Tibbs is a very wealthy man. Oh, oh, it's cold. Oh, oh. But by oh, the end of his stay, he'll right. give away thousands that's of pounds right. of his own money. Beautiful. Ah, oh, that's good. Ah. Terry Tibbs is the secret millionaire. The biggest challenge, man, is convincing the fuckers uh, that I'm not who I say I am. So what, what's your plan then to get around it? Got a disguise. Shalom. <laughs> Shalom. Poor people. Looking for the poor. Do you know any uh, charitable causes I might yes. be able to visit? Yes, at charity shop right there. Charity shop there. Aye. Right? right, you got a quiz in, eh? Uh, we're doing a documentary for Channel 4. Basically, I just moved to the area. Oh, you are? Yeah, I am, And that's yeah. a fake beard, isn't it? Eh? Is that oh, fake? Show, let him tell oh, me. No, no, it's not. Hello there, you all right? Hello, how are you? It smells a bit boozy here. You girls like to booze uh, first thing in the morning, eh? Huh? I, I could definitely smell a can of special brew somewhere. No, Wait, no. Which one are you hiding? Huh? No, no, no. He's not. Huh? Excuse me, we don't drink. Oh, I could definitely smell a can of special something. No, honestly, there isn't any drinks here. I walked in now, I smelt the booze on them. I smelt the booze on their breaths. I think it's very sad that, uh, you know, Ladies like that, uh, clearly a knee boy, you know, whilst doing a charitable thing, you know. I can still smell it, you know. I mean, it's in, it's, it's in my nose now. I don't know what to do about it. You smell that? Just booze it. Mm. But, so, so I suppose you've got to do the, uh, the shot of me in a working man's club. Back in Swansea, secret millionaire Terry tries to get some tips from the locals in his search for a good cause. Hello. How you doing? You all right? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Pleased to meet you. What's your name? Elvis. Elvis? Of course you are, yeah. That's quite a quiff. <laughs> I haven't seen a quiff like that since uh, 63. Yeah. <laughs> My first wife, yeah. <laughs> What's the best ones you know you love? Anything but the council. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the council, that's why, yeah, the council. Terry and the locals soon bond. I'm a bow-legged chicken, I'm a knock-knee hen. I've never been so happy since I don't know when. We walk with a whittle and we walk with a wank. We are the Swansea, not bank. We had a little, uh, we had a tune like that in, uh, in your gold as queen, you know. Yeah, how'd you go? At, uh, when I'm at, uh, our world. Well, Oh, well, we are the Jews of Golders Queen. We're not like other Jews you have seen. We like to eat carfilter fish. Now look at this, it's a fishy dish. <laughs> <laughs> it's all here. God bless you all. God bless. Yeah. Yeah. God bless. God bless, God God bless everyone. everyone. Oh, man. Magic. Where's the dude? All right, take care. Bye-bye. Yeah. Hello, -bye. It's been an interesting first day, you know? But well, it's going to be a hard week. When times are hard, you need to, uh, you know, cut back on the old spending. We should have done one, huh? It's secret millionaire Terry's eighth day in Swansea. I'm going to get a few, please. Get bacon sandwich. Having had no luck so far in his quest for a worthy cause, he finds a potential option in a local calf. Bye. -bye. Where your donation goes, please consider making a donation to help our work with straying unwanted dogs. I love dogs. Do you, do you know anything about this, uh, the, the, uh, the whole work? I just walked in, I'm ready, huh? yeah? Well, just do a bit of revision and then pretend like you're doing it, yeah? Makes good talent. Hope Rescue is an entirely self-funded and relies on fundraising donations. What am I supposed to say? Oh, fucking hell. Hope Rescue is an entirely self-funded 
and relies on fundraising donations to pay for our work. Uh, sorry, darling. You... Oh, fucking hell. Hope Rescue is an entirely self-funded charity uh, and it helps dogs. I know that. I know that charity. That's a well worth charity. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, I'll, uh, I'll volunteer today. Having finally found a charity he believes in, Terry bonds with volunteer Susie over their shared love of dogs. So what we do is yeah, the, yeah. the pound will have the dogs for seven right. days the, and they could yeah. be stray dogs that are picked up, they okay. could be dogs that are surrounded. Yeah. They could be, even be dogs that people will throw over the fence into the pound. Your so fucking dog to me. In a bag or just like a... Ah, just, or tie them up to the lamppost outside like the Like a frisbee? Like a, sort of like a frisbee. You find me the guy that takes a dog, right, and throws him over a fence like a frisbee. I will, I will tear that man. I will tell to pieces with my bare hands. Well, I'm with you. That's for the record. That's for the quote. Yeah. We yeah. say that we're a nation of animal lovers. We are. We are. Except for the fucker that took that dog and threw him over the fence like a frisbee. Okay. I had a dog, King Charles. Ah, pretty little dog. Yeah. Every time I say King Charles, it just you know you? brings back all the memories for for, for little Mo's sight. Some of the dogs I saw in there, they they really. Willie, Willie, Willie just reminded me of Mozart, you know, in so many ways, you know, just... What, what happened to Mozart? <coughs> he died. What, what happened? He was mauled by squirrels. He was what? Mauled by squirrels. He just torn to pieces, you know, he's... Uh... He only had one leg. He's on wheels. Oh, sorry, I got... Ah. 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 Once he's composed himself, Terry begins his duty as a volunteer. Before this dog ever gets rehomed, yep. we'll get this little dog neutered. Let's do it. And we're not going to do it now. No, uh, no we're just gonna, we're just going to go. Yeah, yeah. So oh. I got a bit uh, volunteer. We yeah. got a bit enthusiastic. He probably thinks he's about to get a circumcision, huh? Yeah, you know huh? that we're not neutering huh? right now. No, I know, I know, I know. Dogs don't have foreskins, do they? Oh, Lord, that little man. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Lovely. Sorry. Oh, sorry about that. Why don't we call him Mr. Tibbs? Hey, Mr. Tibbs. Huh? Hey, Mr. Tibbs. Hey, Lassie, you see, gave me a kiss there. Did you get that? Give me a kiss, give me a kiss, give me a kiss. Good boy. There we go, beautiful. Back at the bed sit on his last night in Swansea, Terry's got some tough decisions to make. Last last couple of days have really opened my eyes. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Have I learned a lot? Absolutely. Would I come back? No fucking chance. So, uh, the, doing extras, or? Just asking. I gotta decide who's getting the money. And it's been hard. It's been tough. But, uh, I got a good idea who's getting what. I haven't been, uh, completely honest with you. Uh, I'm not actually, uh, a Hasidic Jew from, uh, Gold is green. No. I'm actually, uh... a second hand car salesman from Brickmansworth. And I'm also a millionaire. And I'd like to give you, I'd, li I'd, li I'd like to give you a, a check for 50,000 pounds. Um, because I love you. That's that's for you. I'm gonna go now. Um, and I'll miss you. But I know you spend the money right. Right, I'm going now. I love you, baby. Shut up. I love you. Fucking hell. Unbelievable. Right, I've had enough. Let's go on. That was Bappy. Brought to you live from me, Brian Bodondi, here on the Biting Girl Estate in the heart of B6.